Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon you all. Today we have with us Brother Charles Brewer, and he is a new member of the largest brotherhood and sisterhood on earth, Islam. He accepted it uh, just recently in his life, and we want to ask him a few questions today. Peace be upon you, Mr. Charles. So my first question for you, Charles, is what would you say sparked your initial interest in Islam? Working in Africa the first time, being around, I had Christians and Muslims there. And I was in Lagos, Nigeria, up in the north, and there's mostly Muslims in the north. So I've seen how they act and how they did things. Kind of, I was interested in learning more about them. I've always been interested in, with religions anyway. I mean, I've read about all of them, Buddhism and the whole nine yards. I've always been curious about different other people's religions. And that's what sparked my first interest. Okay. Now, at some point, you were inspired to get a copy of the Qur'an and read it yeah. to see what it had to say. What would you say, reading the Qur'an, how would you say that played a part in your journey to Islam? The first time I read, well, first time I read the Qur'an, I understood more were the mistakes in the Bible, different things in the Bible that was all, I was always asking questions about to local pastors and stuff like that around. And I had put it down for a while, let, kind of let it absorb. And six months, maybe a year later, I picked it up again, and that's when I read it in depth to learn more about Islam, learn what the book was all about. And from there on, that I started searching after that, all, all, every avenue that I could find. But that time I wasn't in Africa no more, I was in South America. And so the information was hard to come by in South America. And it wasn't until I got back into the States in 09 when I was able to really be able to have information available to me. And so I've been continuing searching the whole time. Okay, so you know what we do. Uh, we gave you a, uh, a copy of the Quran also. Yes. You're one of the free recipients of it. And uh, I just have a final question for you, which is, do you have any words of encouragement for your fellow brothers and sisters in Islam who are going to see this video about encouraging them to make sure that the Qur'an is freely available to the American people in a language they understand? Yes, I'd say help people spread the word. I mean, be able to talk about it in the communities and in, in public. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to... It took me a long time to find a message here that, I, that could speak English where I could go to. I've been working at it a long time and I never did give up. Just never give up. Just keep looking. Keep searching. Well, thank you very much, brother. May God Almighty increase you in faith and may He take your soul as a believing Muslim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon you.